What's up guys, it's Coop Dizzle here, and welcome back to another vlog. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm sorry I don't have a Let's Play for you today, but I wanted to at least give you a video, and there are so many things that I've been wanting to talk about in my Let's Plays that I just never have time to. So I hope you'll bear with me for a few minutes. I've got some really cool stuff to show you guys, and some important information to share with you as well. So let's get started. First of all, actually first of all, I apologize for my face, okay? I've been breaking out like every week, and I'm 31, not 31, I'm 30 with acne problems. Uh, but really, I think it's just caused by stress, and a lot of acne in adults is caused by stress. And a lot of you guys are newer to my channel, so you may not know this about me, but my wife is a terminal cancer patient. And so, that sucks, and it's really stressful. And I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay at the moment, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, so if I have acne, you know, I'm just stressed out. Anyway, I'm sorry uh, for rambling about that. Please forgive my appearance, okay? So, now, first of all, I have a totally new, pimped out, upgraded recording setup, and it's really cool, and I've kind of been wanting to show you guys this. This is really, really nice. Over the Christmas holiday, I got some really cool presents. Uh, one of them was this two-piece desk setup, and my mother-in-law got this for me. It's amazing, an amazing desk, very rustic. And um, if you saw my last vlog, you saw that kind of old scratched up table with all the names and stuff and all the, all the graffiti and stuff on it. Uh, I have been using that for a long time. And now I feel like I have a proper desk. I feel like I'm a grown up, <laughs> sort of. So that's kind of cool too. But let me show you around a little bit. So firstly, we have this really awesome modern looking chair. Very, very comfortable and my back doesn't hurt anymore, which is cool. As you can see with the blanket, still in the background, that's my ghetto sound paneling, and you know it doesn't do that great of a job, but it's better than nothing, right? Next on the list, it's a little bit hard to see with the black blanket in the background, but we have the Blue Yeti microphone. This was a really nice upgrade from the Blue Snowball, and I definitely recommend it. I think it definitely sounds a whole lot better, and I think it's worth the, uh, the price as well. I've got it hooked up to a boom arm. I don't know if you can see that, but maybe if we get a little bit closer, there it is. You can kind of see it. Uh, kind of a cheap boom arm, but something's better than nothing, right? So uh, we got that set up. We've got the, what is this, shock absorber on the top. That one is especially made for the Blue Yeti. So that works out pretty good. And yeah, we've got a new, uh, what are these called? Uh, pop filter, there we go. We've got a new pop filter. So it's looking pretty good. There's what the microphone kind of looks like, um, just hanging out there. So we'll cover that back up. Moving on to the other desk, I mostly just use this for display stuff. So like I've got this really amazing picture that one of my friends gave me once and that sort of, those are uh, three characters from the, you would know them if you've played the Dynasty Warriors games, but they are historical figures in medieval China, should we say, from the Three Kingdoms era. So in the center here, you've got Guan Yu, and that's me. I'm supposed to be Guan Yu. Over here, you've got Zhang Fei, which is one of my uh, one of my brothers from another mother. So all three of us are, right? And this is, I think, oh man, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Maybe some of you guys will know. Maybe I'll look it up uh, before the end of this vlog. But yeah, so those are that's basically represents me and two of my my uh, best friends. Over here, we've got one of my Christmas presents. This is a Coop Dizzle MC um, action figure, which is kind of cool. It's by, I think, Endershire Toys or Ender Toys or something like that, and it looks pretty good. Um, it could be a little bit better, I think. But the main thing that bothers me, okay, check out... I'm sorry, I'm sorry the shadow's in the way here, but check out the crotch piece. If I just turn this a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah, like they attached everything, but they, it's like they had to use a crotch piece to attach the legs. All the limbs are movable, but other than that, that's like the only thing that I really hate about it. Um, so maybe don't go to, oh no, better. So anyway, um, there are a couple of different websites that sell these. One of them I think is Ender Toys or Endershire Toys or something like that. Maybe try the other website um, because yeah, I really dislike that, but at least it's a big crotch piece, right? Moving on here, we have a gavel. This is a relic from my college days as a chapter president of my band fraternity, uh, Kappa Kappa Psi. 
more relics from college. We have General Grievous action figures because that was my nickname. I was part of what was called the Star Wars family in my fraternity and General Grievous was my nickname. Moving down here, we've got some more personal stuff. This is a picture of uh, me and my oldest son, Devin. And that was right when I graduated college and it's adorable. I'm in my tux. Uh, he's all dressed to the nines and he's holding my baton. You can kind of see that, which is kind of cool. Um, this was also a present from Devin. It is a pocket watch that says dad on it. Really nice. I've got a couple of gaming manuals over here and I hope to add some more to that collection over time. Just another picture of my oldest son. I need to get pictures of my youngest son. I just didn't have any framed already that I could put on here. So, lots of amazing upgrades to the recording setup. I wish I could soundproof a little bit better. I think my voice is a little bit echoey when I uh, use my blue uh, Yeti. But other than that, it's definitely getting a lot better. So that's cool and hopefully it results in some better videos for you guys. This picture, by the way, um, one of my big Christmas presents to my oldest son was his own PC Minecraft account. He was really, really stoked about that. And I, it was a surprise, right? I gave him my old gaming laptop and everything was already installed and I bought him an account um, and I had already got a skin for him. And so this is a picture that I made of, of the two of us, right? Using um, Nova skin, Minecraft Nova skin. So I just dropped our, our character skins in there and I just thought that was perfect for like a father and son picture um, and he loves it. All right, so enough about all of that stuff. Here's some channel news and kind of some important stuff to be aware of. The Fallout series is not coming back. Um, that really doesn't affect very many of you, but I know that a couple of you guys really enjoyed that series. It just wasn't getting that much love. And even though I thought it was fairly well put together, it was the first game like that that I had done a series for. And it's a shame because um, Nick Nasty made some amazing channel art for me. A big thanks to him again. One of the things that he made for me was a, uh, what was I calling it? A Vault Coop or something like that. But you know Vault Boy from Fallout 4? He made like a Vault Boy, but a Coop Dizzle Vault Boy. And it was really, really cool. I only got to use that for one thumbnail, sadly. So Fallout 4 is gone, that's not coming back. And I honestly don't know how long it's gonna be until my next Minecraft Let's Play. And here's why. I am working on a massive project on the StreamCraft server right now, and it is all consuming, like it's all I can do. Um, and I, it's been bugging me, it's a project that has been eating away at me for a really long time. Um, for you StreamCraft fans, you know that that base project, that epic base project, um, has kind of been slowed down tremendously, and it's just because the scope of it is so huge, guys way bigger than anything I've ever tried to do and I'm having fun doing it but I just finally get to it's like it took me a long time to wrap my head around how was I going to approach this project so I don't want to tell you much about it but the next episode you're gonna see I think something really really cool and hopefully something pretty unique as well um, I've definitely never seen anyone do this in a Minecraft Let's Play I've seen work similar but not this exact thing and not on this scale. So that's gonna be really cool. But guys, I don't think I'm gonna put out another Minecraft Let's Play until that project is done. I am just set, like it's all I can, I've got tunnel vision on that project, okay? So hang tight, I am burning through it as fast as I can, but it is really, really, really grindy. The good news is there will be some Minecraft content the Diamond Society is hosting its first UHC this Saturday, and if all goes well and we have a good turnout, then I'll have a UHC series. Now, UHC is not really that interesting anymore, and I get that, but please check this one out. We basically, I don't want to give it away either. Um, maybe if we release a teaser trailer or something, you'll get to see what's cool about it. It's not gimmicky, we don't have special buffs or any of that weird stuff, um, but there is something really, 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 really cool about it that I don't think has ever been done in a UHC before, and I'm really excited for you guys to see that. I'm really excited to play it because I've never done it before. So, hopefully that will carry the channel. That's gonna come out, I think, starting on Wednesday or Thursday of next week, and then it's gonna be um, every couple of days. So hopefully that'll get me through long enough to where I can put this episode together. Um, although my playing time is going to be more limited because I'll, I put a lot of editing into my UHC. So that's another thing. If you didn't watch the Votable UHC series, 
then you don't know how I do UHC, okay? I do. I go big on the editing for UHC. Um, I've got a custom soundtrack for it. There are animated pop-ups when people die, and I'm thinking there might be like a really cool, if I can make it work, uh, or figure out how to do it in a way that looks good, we might have like some instant replay action on uh, kills and things like that, so it's gonna be really cool, guys. Um, the editing is gonna be cool. The UHC itself should be really, really interesting, so um, I hope that you'll check that out. And in the meantime, if you're a Streamcraft fan, please be patient. I am working as hard as I can, I promise. If you're a Diamond Society fan, please be patient because I need to get this Streamcraft project done before I do anything else on Diamond Society. But the Diamond Society stuff is about to just get so crazy, it's unbelievable. Diamond Society has been so much fun and it's been so cool. I felt so honored and lucky to be a part of this group, guys. Um, so many good Minecraft players in the Diamond Society and the stuff that we're doing is just it's so good man it's so cool like just walking around on the map is fun um and the spawn city is is really cool so if you're a streamcraft fan and you haven't checked out diamond society please go check it out because you're gonna like it if you liked my streamcraft work you're probably gonna like the diamond society work too um and that series has been a lot of fun to to work on so uh streamcraft is a little more personal the project there is a little more personal uh, the base sanctuary, yeah, it's just more personal and more artistic. Diamond Society is still, it's still me, it's still my building, it's still what I do in Minecraft, but it's just a little more fun. But guys, we are like super organized and super motivated on that server, and we are just doing some really amazing things as a group, so I hope you'll check that out. And again, for both of those series, just please be patient, big things are on the way for both of them, and that I can promise you. Well, I thought that there, oh, you know what, there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, so here lately, here lately, um, if you notice me seeming kind of different in my videos, like I've noticed that I'm different when I talk on, on camera or I feel better. Uh, so anyway, I got a comment a long time ago on my videos that my voice wasn't as deep as what this subscriber was used to. And he was like, hey, did you change your microphone or something? Because you used to have a really deep voice on camera and it's it's higher now and I, I don't like it as much. I didn't change my microphone. This was a long time ago. Um, what it was is I was trying to be more energetic and more entertaining for you guys and that was a change. Now, uh, for those of you who are my older subscribers or for if you just found out at the beginning of this vlog, uh, my wife is a terminal cancer patient. That means that she's dying slowly and it she's gonna die from it one day. That's really hard to deal with. And so in the past, like I've tried to be energetic, but it's like there's only so much I could do, right? Like I wanna make good videos for you guys, um, but sometimes it can be hard. It can be hard to be energetic when you're going through stuff like that. If I seem different lately, it's not that I'm trying to be fake. It's not that I'm trying to kind of cover up who I, who I really am or anything like that. Here's what it is, okay? And this is kind of personal information but here it is. Um, I have been seeing a therapist for a few months now, and about six weeks ago, I started antidepressants for the first time. My wife has been fighting cancer for two years. Both of these things were way steps that were long overdue for me, um, but both of them have really, really helped. So. Yeah, I mean, there, there are just there are some answers that I'm kind of getting from my therapy, and the antidepressants have really helped stabilize me. So I don't, uh, I don't break down as often. I can keep it together a lot better. Uh, I'm more focused at work, which is really, really nice. And I am just generally in a good mood now, which I haven't been in a really long time. In fact, almost the entire time I've been doing YouTube, I haven't generally been in a good mood. So anyway, I just, you know, I thought about that old subscriber and how he didn't like that, that subtle change in my voice and I thought there might be a lot of people who are watching my videos now who are kind of turned off by me talking faster or sounding uh, more energetic or something like that and I just want you to know it's not me trying to be fake or me trying to change. Um, I just, I literally am a little bit different because my dopamine levels are higher and I, this is what I would be like if we weren't in that situation. Um, 
sorry, I'm, you know, I'm trying not to try not to break down here because I try not to think about it too much because it would drive me crazy, you know. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this vlog up, okay? There was one more thing, just real quick, that I wanted to put into this vlog. So I have been keeping up with my statistics for a while, and other than when I released the trail of villager tears, when I released that. And after the New Year's party, in fact, the Diamond Society New Year's party, which was amazing, by the way, and thanks to everyone who showed up. Um, but after that, I got a really nice boost in the subscriber count and a really good boost in views and stuff like that. Uh, but generally speaking, my channel growth is slow, really slow. And now for a small channel, really, a lot of us are, are we only expect about maybe two new subscribers per week. Uh, which is really, you know, really slow, but uh, for a small Minecraft channel, that's pretty good. I mean, that's that's about normal. So, I my channel was doing that a kind of a long time ago. In August, starting in August, there was, right around the time I started the Diamond Society, there was a drop, and I started losing subscribers, and uh, it got to the point where every month was less and less and less, and I was really kind of freaking out about that, like, what how, what am I doing wrong, you know, what am I doing different? And in fact, at one point in December, um, there was a day where for the, for the 28 days, like you can look up the last 28 days, there was about a week there where I was looking at a net loss um, of subscribers. And so, and if I looked back over the past six months, you know, it was a slow decline. And so that's turning around a little bit, and I thank you so much for your support, guys. Uh, but that being said, I really would like your feedback, and I would really like your help. I want my channel to be a good channel, and I want my videos to be entertaining. I want them to help inspire you to play more Minecraft. And um, yeah, I just want to give you ideas and be fun and stuff like that. So I really need your feedback. Now, in the past, if I've asked for specific feedback, you've been awesome about that. Here I'm asking for general feedback. Just what do you think my videos are, are my videos lacking something? Are they different somehow from what you subscribed for? Or anything like that. Just anything that you think maybe I could try to do or try to tweak. You know, I'm not gonna completely change my personality because I'm just not gonna do that but I can probably do things. So for example, if you're like, hey Coop, you ramble too much. Hey Coop, your videos are too long. Uh, stuff like that. Just let me know any thoughts that you have and I'm not gonna take it personally. Uh, as long as it's constructive, constructive criticism, then I will actually appreciate that and be very grateful. So whether you're a long time, especially if you're a long time subscriber and you haven't been as interested in my videos lately or something like that, please let me know what I can do to help make my videos better and hopefully help my channel grow a little bit better too. So anyway, I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. I'm probably gonna have a ton of editing to do. Um, so I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and for hanging out with me today. I hope you're excited for all the stuff that's gonna be coming up in Streamcraft and Diamond Society and for the UHC and for other cool stuff, I don't know. But yeah, thanks again guys, and again, just please be patient. The Minecraft Let's Plays are coming and the projects are going to be epic. Anyway, thanks again guys, and until next time, may be happy, may be well, and take care. I'll see you later.